What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Jada Jonate, and I'm back with another video. And as you already see by the title, excuse me if it seems like I'm on the go, but I should already see by the title, I have an updated lash tutorial. A lot of y'all have been asking how I do my lashes, and now I'm gonna let y'all in on a secret. I do not wear strips, I cannot stand strips. I'm a total advocate for individuals or lash extensions, but I'm not gonna ramble too much. Y'all already know how these videos go. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay guys, so the lashes that I use are the KISS INV 20D Extension Lashes. You can find these in your local beauty supply store. Make sure you screenshot this so y'all can know. I use the extra long uh, 20D clusters and then I also use the 3D long trio lash clusters. And I use these on the bottom end and I use the other ones kind of on the top. The glue that I use is the KISS individual eyelash adhesive imb glue it is waterproof and it is really strong so i do encourage you to be careful it's not as strong as individual lash glue but it is strong enough for them not to come off you know with everyday wear and tear so next i like to use um these little tweezers i bought these a long time ago they're like little eyelash tweezers and yeah we're gonna go into it so there's a glue pocket on the trio lash and i do go in with the trio lashes first um, and so basically what I do is just put the glue into the glue pocket and this helps, you know, I think real lash techs use like a ring. This kind of serves as like the ring to put the glue in. So once you have the glue in, all you do literally making sure that your lashes are clean and free of residue, you dip the end of the cluster into it, wipe off the excess, and then you literally stick it right under your eye. Make sure that it's not on your waterline or too close to your eye because I would hate for the glue to get in your eye and I don't want any problems. Just a disclaimer, I'm not a lash tech. I don't know much about any of this. This is something that I do and it works for me. So do it at your own risk. Um, but literally, I go in with the trio lashes as a bottom layer. It just increases the volume and um i go i go in with about seven or six of them depends on your eye size but i don't go all the way to the ends like i don't go too close to like my um tear ducts or too close to the end and i i don't do that because i don't want the ends to be too thick so i do that on both sides of my eyes as y'all see um and it just serves as a pre-layer of lashes um, but like I said, please be very careful and tedious. Do not be in a rush when doing this because you do not want to get this into your eyes. Like, just take your time. Be patient. There's no rush. And it really takes some time and skill to do this. Well, not a lot of skill, but it works. Like, over time, you learn how to figure it out. So, you got to make sure you place the lashes correctly. And this is how they look with just the first layer so after that i go in with the extra long individuals these are just the one not the try so you really want to do the same thing i like to pull some of the lashes off just because it takes up less time so i just go ahead and pull a good bit of the lashes off the strip um i like to pull them by the head if you try and pull them by the like flare they have a potential to rip so pull them by the head of the lash first so basically all you do is go in and fill in those gaps and thicken your lashes up they can be as thick or as thin as you want them to be you can probably go for like a layered look like maybe buy like a short trio set and then add like long or extra long um individual ones and you could maybe make it kind of like a wispy look it's all about preference and, and just take your time y'all i would hate for some of y'all to mess up your eyes or risk doing anything um i would say test something out first maybe put like a small short lash on and wear it for a day or two and see how your um eyes react with the glue um but yeah that's honestly all i do I can't say exactly how many lashes I use, but y'all asked for this tutorial, so I'm just giving it to you all. Originally, I was buying actual lash um, extension little kits, like what they use, the sets, but I found that this is much more easier. You don't have to worry about pre-making fans or anything like that, and it looks more natural because they're more like fluffy because yeah <laughs> but yeah here i am just speeding through and filling my lashes in 
And yeah, honestly, there's not much to this process. Um, I've been doing this for however long I can remember. Um, and it's just a good go to, you know, what I'm saying if you want to get your lashes done or you hate strips and they last for a week to two weeks, depending on how you keep them up. Um, I have a habit of ripping my lashes off, so that's just my bad. But yeah, they last a good minute. Here I am brushing them out once I'm finished. And they look really, really good. Better than what I had originally. Just take care of them. Um, you can wash your face with them. Remember that they're waterproof, so you know, you get a good wear of them. Let them fall off by themselves or by the remover adhesive stuff. I don't use it, but um, I would recommend it. My lashes look so good. I'm in love. And this process is so simple. Like, how could you not do it? It's like $10. So this is the finished product of my lashes. Tell me how you all think. Now, they do come out different sometimes. You can thicken them up or you can make them less. It just depends on preference. But I really like how these came out. And it was super quick, takes me no more than 20 minutes. And yeah, it's a look and it's super affordable and you don't gotta pay for lash extensions. So if you guys like the look, let me know down below. I, this was a highly requested video, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next freaking video.